Have you ever said to yourself, I got this, I'm eating so well, I got this under control, I don't have to worry about anything, I'm doing really well, all of a sudden then to completely throw it away and sabotage yourself. So you get three good days of eating in, you feel like you're doing so, so well, and then all of a sudden you have one cookie or you have one cup of ice cream or you have one bag of potato chips and you feel like, oh my goodness, I just ruined everything. What's the point? I might as well just forget it and just eat whatever I want. This is what happens <laughs> when we are not being consistent. Today, it's all about consistency. So being consistent with food, with eating the way we think we should or eating the way that serves us is really challenging for people. Most of my clients have a difficult time being consistent with their eating. And here's the thing, you guys, once you say to yourself, I got this, there's nothing to get. This is a lifelong journey. Food is going to be in your life for the rest of your life. You're never gonna be able to stop eating. You're gonna need to eat every single day, maybe three meals a day, maybe more than that. You can never stop eating. So once you say to yourself, I got this, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to have some kind of either sabotage set in, or there's going to be something that's going to disrupt your consistency. Consistency is only built through action. I want to say that again. Consistency is only built through action. When my clients start working with me, you know, it's a process. So we go through, everyone starts working with me at, in four, with four months, right? So we start at a four month process. Some people continue longer. Some people stop at the four months and feel like I'm doing really well. I understand the tools. I know how to implement these and they've made so much transformation. So usually around session three, after we first start working together, people start to freak out because they don't have a meal plan and they feel like they're out of control because what we're doing is we're working on changing the mindset. We're working on breaking down the diet culture mindset that we have and really changing the relationship to food. And what that will do over time is build consistency. Like I said, consistency is built through action. It's not built any other way. It's not built through telling yourself, that's it, I'm gonna be consistent. I'm only gonna eat healthy for the next three months or a year or whatever it is. The moment we make those promises to ourselves, the moment we set up any kind of restriction or rules, there will be a pendulum swing. We will sabotage. Ultimately, I want you to really find that middle ground with food, find that neutral place with food that isn't loaded with rules, right? This is good, this is bad, I can't eat this, I shouldn't eat this, I should eat this, I should only be eating kale, I should only be eating salad, I should only be eating blah, 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 whatever it is. We have all of these shoulds about food, but then we're not listening to our bodies. One of the best ways to build consistency through action is by listening to your body, right? Our bodies give us information all the time. They're always telling us if they're hungry, if they're full, what they desire, what feels good for them. And oftentimes we don't listen. We just listen to what's in our heads, right? Oh, I feel like having Jack in the box today, or I feel like having McDonald's today. So I'm just gonna stop on the way home from work. And oh, I'm so busy and it's convenient and blah, blah, blah. We make up all these excuses. And then all of a sudden our consistent eating is out the window, so we think. The way to build consistency, again, is through action. And what that means is, if you eat one meal that's not in alignment with what you think is consistent, that doesn't mean you messed up, right? That's just information about your relationship with food. Hi, Patty. So I want you to, in order to build consistency, like I said, it's a process. But what I want you to do is to really start to understand your relationship with food, meaning how often do you eat when you're not physically hungry? How often do you just listen to your mind and give over to cravings versus listening to your body? How often do you live by food rules, right? Oh, that's good. Or I shouldn't eat that. Or I should eat this. Or, you know, oh, if I eat ice cream, that's bad. So that means I messed everything up. And that means I might as well, you know, start over on Monday. I just had a client say to me the other day that she used to 
on the weekends, you know, she would say, oh, Saturday night I'm gonna have some ice cream. And then she'd have the ice cream and then she's like, she'd say, oh, well, I'll have it tomorrow too. And I'll just start over on Monday and then I won't eat ice cream again, right? We know that's not gonna happen. That's not how you build consistency. That's one of the least productive, excuse me, I'm losing my words today. That's one of the least productive ways to build consistency is by making promises to yourself, right? So when you start to make promises, know that you most likely will not keep them. <laughs> I've made so many promises to myself over the years with food, swearing that I was just gonna eat healthy and just eat perfectly. Oh my gosh, I had so much black and white thinking around this and that if I just ate perfectly, then I would be consistent. Well, that is impossible. And also what it do is it what it did was took pleasure out of my life. It made me feel like I was a prisoner to food. It made me feel like I had no power over food and it made me feel out of control and like I had no choice. So consistency is built through action one choice at a time. That's the only way you can do it. It's not made by building promises or making promises. It's not made by saying, I'm starting this on Monday. I, this is all I'm gonna do. It's not made by saying, I'm never gonna eat sugar again. It's not made by any of those things. What it's made by is the decisions you make day in, day out, one choice at a time, one meal at a time, listening to your body, tuning in, and not listening to those diet mindset rules. Hi, Naomi. Um, it's a little hard for me to see because I have this, I'm testing out this light because I'm in a, in a um, as you guys know, I moved a while ago and I'm in a different room and it's not very bright in here. I used to have so much natural light in my old place. So I'm testing out a new light. So it's a little hard for me to see sometimes when people are commenting. <laughs> so I apologize if I'm not commenting back. Um, so consistency is built through action one choice at a time. That's all I wanna to say to you today. Tomorrow I'll be back live, same time as today, two o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Eastern. I'll be talking about sabotage because consistency, oftentimes when we fall off the consistent wagon or what we consider to be consistent, usually sabotage is the culprit. So I'll be talking more about sabotage. So remember, start to pay attention to what you're doing with food. Are you listening to your body? Are you listening to your mind? Are you listening to your shoulds? Are you listening to your diet rules, right? Think about like why you eat what you eat, what you enjoy, right? Think about if you lived without diet rules, what that would be like. Most of you are probably like, oh my God, I would freak out, I would eat everything in sight, I would just lose control. That's not true. It's 100% not true because that's the way I live now. It took me a while to break my diet mindset, but through working with my coach, I was really able to do that and now I have freedom with food. And that's why I'm really wanting to share this with you all this week. I'm gonna be live five days today through Sunday. I'm gonna go live each day. I'll be back tomorrow talking about sabotage and I'm gonna be sharing also about my Empowered Eaters group and how much transformation they're having in there and how much fun we're having with the support for women in a group. I'm opening up one more group that will start in November, take through the holidays into the spring. I'm super excited to share it because I've been getting so many requests for it that I decided to open one more group. So there's gonna be four spots available for that. Uh, so I'll share more about that as we go along this week. But remember, consistency is built through action one choice at a time. It's not built through making promises to yourself. It's not built through diet mindset. It's not built through you know, all these other things, these shoulds or, you know, all these things that we tell ourselves will build consistency. It's not built through any of that. It's built one choice at a time in action. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.